Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach. All glory and honor and praises to Him. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day, uh, a spirit-filled day, being led by the Holy Ghost, God in your steps and your ways, setting your minds focus on His Word today. And that's what we are going to go over today. We're going to go over a scripture involving the Most High Word, the Word of Yah. The word of God and it's going to be here in Psalms 119 11 today today's date I have all that information it's a uh, Tuesday the 16th 2023 at 2 21 p.m. you know um, whatever time zone you are whatever you guys can see this uh, my uh, blessings to you and I give you guys a holy kiss in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray that you guys are doing well today. My allergies are a little flared up and my eyes are itchy right now. But um, all glory to the Most High. I'm going to do this and, and, and speak His Word and share this message with you, this good food with you guys today. So you can have your, your daily bread. But also on your end, do your studying. Do your, keep the Word in you always, not just by memorization, but keep it in your heart. And don't let it depart from you. Don't forget it. You know, whenever you're faced with any circumstance, any situation, anything that will tear you away or try to pull you or lure you away from the Most High, always remember His Scriptures. Always keep them in your mind, in your heart, and recite them and carry them out. Think about them. Meditate on them day and night. Keep you keep the, Keep the wickedness away from you. If you stay in his word and you dwell in his presence, the evil one cannot enter and has no domain in your life because you're not allowing him to come inside. So trust in him and abide in him. Study his word, live in his word, be in his word. Let his word run your life. Let his word dominate your mind and your heart. Hallelujah. So you could be lit so you could be used to carry on the kingdom of God, to be a vessel, to be the light and salt of the earth. To be a minister, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha. To be able to carry his word and be a light to all the people. Not to glorify yourself, but to give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's going to be in Psalms 119.11. And he says, I have just, I, many, many people believe this is David. I personally believe this is David as well. Um, you know, David was a man after the Most High's heart. And even when he sinned, he always kept the word he always kept the most high in his heart in his word in his heart he never left it he never um gave it up he never went to worship idols or or give up the most high he stayed within him even though he was in his worst times he repented you know he cried out he really showed who he truly was he didn't hide anything from the most high you know he he exposed he he got exposed but he was a man after the Most High's, the God's own heart, Yah's own heart. And um, this is from 119, Psalms 119.11. He says, I treasure your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So when you think of this, you look at it in your context of how we live our lives, right? What should we do so we don't fall away from the Most High? We got to stay in his word. We got to treasure. We got to value it. We got to put it above anything else in this world. No matter what your friends say, no matter what your counselor says, no matter what the people on TV say, the philosophers, the, 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 the college uh, educated professors and things like that, they may have a lot of knowledge, temporary solutions for things. But the word of God is solid powers, living power that if you live in it, it will make you free. It'll set you free to give you peace. It'll give you comfort. It'll give you joy. It'll give you everything you need on this earth that no man can provide for you. The word of God gives you power through understanding, through wisdom, through knowledge that passes all human ability, knowledge. Nothing of a human can compare to what the word of God will do for you. When you have the word of God, when you study the word of God, when you, when you allow the most high to work into your heart, and transform you and renew you you can overcome any circumstance any situation 
that you may face in this world, in this world, hallelujah. There's nothing that you can't do, and you will have dominion over the enemy because if you're living in his word, if you're walking out your steps in his word day by day, step by step, hour by hour, minute by minute, second by second, you can be used for the kingdom, the kingdom of the most high. And remember that no one can take that away from you. The only one that can take that away, the only one that can put a, a stumbling block in you is your flesh and your own self. Nobody can force you to go against the most high. When we when we when we're not in obedience to his word, when we're not abiding in him, and we let our flesh and our lust and our desires for things that are contrary to the word of God, the wicked things, then that's what pulls us away. It's our own flesh. Mostly it's us. We are our own worst enemies when we don't obey the most high. So if we stay in his word and keep his heart, his, his word in our heart, stored in his heart like a treasure, valued like a treasure, more expensive than anything, more, more precious than anything that money could buy. It's the word of God. It's a... Is 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 precious. It, it's something that cannot be brought. It's a free gift, but it's something that cannot be brought because it's God's gift to mankind. God gave it to us so we can live in truth and right righteousness and be able to serve Him in spirit and truth, so we can be free from the vows of Satan. The Most High seen all this stuff beforehand. He knew what world what this world would be like when He cast the enemy down. He knew he had to send his word through Christ Jesus, the word of God. He had to reveal himself to the prophets in the past through Jesus Christ, Yahushua Mashiach. He was the Messiah pre pre-incarnate back then. Jesus Christ was always here with us. He was Emmanuel, God with us. He was always here with us from the beginning to the middle to the end. He was always, he's everlasting. He's always existing. He never was out without he was always here always existing so when we think of this we have to understand look we live in a wicked world we understand what we're facing in this world what is the most important thing that will help you be able to carry out your life here so you could be a representative so you can have true peace so you don't get dragged into turmoil and chase after things vanity in this world and and make your life meaningless according to you know, chase uh, according to what the Most High says, right? He said, chasing after the world is nothing. You know, we have to serve Him. We were created in His image to serve Him and to and to and to be representatives of Him here on Earth and serve Him with all our hearts, mind, soul, and strength, and lead others to Him as well. That's what our main goal is. Our goal here on Earth is not to get rich and gain the whole world. Our goal here is to serve him, take care of our families, provide for people, help to help the needy in every way, not just with funds, not, not with just money, not with just food, but spiritual. People don't understand people need spiritual nourishment. They need spiritual wealth so they can get to the kingdom because that's what ultimately matters at the, at the end of the day is serving the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we must keep his word in our hearts and our minds constantly dwelling in us every day because there's the enemy is out to kill steal and destroy and he's out there doing it every single day knocking people off taking people out many people dying without the messiah yahushua mashiach he is the way he is the truth and the life and he's the only way to eternal life in heaven not the ways of the world it's okay to get things it's okay to be successful but you have to give God, the, the, the most high God, the most high Yah, the glory over everything and serve him and do it in, in truth. Don't be a dishonest person. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't covet. Don't try to get over. Don't murder. Don't deceive. Don't lie. Don't take the names of Lord, the Lord's name in vain. You know, honor, honor your mother and your father. You know, honor, honor your Sabbath day to the Lord. Dedicate the, a day for the Lord to be honored. You know, I'm starting to do that too. But besides the point, I worship him every day. So to me, every day is a day to, to worship the Lord. I honor him every single day of my life. It doesn't matter what day it is. And I worship him and I serve him and I pray to him. 
And I ask him to give me strength, to give me endurance, to be able to last through this world and to give me a pure heart, a clean heart so I can serve him the way I'm supposed to serve him in truth, spirit and in truth. I want to be there with him. I want to make it. I want to make it to the to the promised land and I want to get there. Every day is a is a sanctification process. We're here. You know, we, we don't deserve anything. It's only by the, the grace of the Most High to send Jesus Christ as our Savior and to have us be born again. And that's what we're doing every day. And that's what I'm doing. I'm here to see, I'm here to send you a message. I'm here to be a messenger for you. Not just for you, but for myself as well. To keep myself encouraged, to keep myself aligned. So I don't miss the mark. Every single day I'm gonna do this for you guys. I mean I'm I may not be on this page. But I'm on other platforms as well, Facebook, uh, Instagram sometimes, but um, you know, mainly, uh, it, mainly YouTube is what I normally use. But um, I want to be able to help anyone. If anyone can help me, if you want to share a word, you know, send scriptures, have a conversation, whatever you guys want to do. If I'm available, I'll reach out to you guys. You know, hit me up on Instagram. I'm here um, on YouTube uh, also. And uh, we just want to we want to honor the Lord and give him glory with our life, the most high with our life. And we want to serve our brothers and sisters as well. So we want to get built up. We want to pray for each other. We want to encourage each other. We want to stay in his word, stay encouraged. And this is for every one of you. This is for all of you guys. I love you. You know, bless us in peace. You remember, keep his word stored in your heart. It is most, the most valuable thing that you can have. Is trusting in his scriptures and abiding in him. You will never go wrong. You will always come out right. Because the, there is no lie in it, in the word of God. The word of Yah. It's all truth. It's never steered me in the wrong direction. I just ignored it most of my life. Even though I knew it was true. But until I started living it out. Day by day. And seeing the results. Then I truly knew for myself. That this word was true. And it will never steer you in the wrong direction. Never tell you a lie. Be careful who you get taught. Make sure you study for yourself. Make sure you deep study. Make sure you triple check, quadruple check your sources. But always stay committed to understanding the word of God every single day. The word of Yah every single day. Keep it in your heart. Keep it in your mind. Study it. Meditate on it. Keep it in your tablets of your heart. And you'll see truth that you've never seen before. You'll have more revelation and you'll have a better relationship with the Most High through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. So this is Brother Ray here. Blessings and peace to you. Pray that you guys have a wonderful, excellent day. I pray for comfort, peace, guidance in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua, and wisdom and understanding, perfect understanding, studying His Word, letting His Word um, transform and renew your minds and your hearts. To be, to be used to glorify the kingdom and to be used to lead others to the most high as well through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory and honor to him. Uh, we, we bless him. We praise your name. We lift you up. Most high Yahuwah. All glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yahusha. Praying for you guys. I love you guys. You be blessed. I ask the Holy Spirit protect you, God, to lead you in all your ways, in all your endeavors, and to give you peace, no matter what you're going through. In his most majestic name, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, amen. Love you guys. Peace and blessings. Shalom.